Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture we are going to see T3 test or we can say triiodothyronine test by fine care machine. Uh, in the previous videos lecture if you guys remember we already talked at T3 test in detail. But we talked at T3 test by digrade machine. We talked that how to perform T3 test using digrade machine. If you missed that video lecture, you can go back to my channel and watch that video. So we talked that uh, in digrade uh, machine, we talked that uh, we need a phosphate buffer A, buffer B, simple buffer, and we combine this and then we mix with it uh, with uh, uh, the serum uh, of the human blood, and then we'll perform the test. Uh, it will take almost 15. Uh, it will take almost 25 minutes. Okay, the whole test or uh, when we perform the test on digrade machine. So on digrade machine, it is you know a little bit taking uh, more time as compared to fine care machine and it take uh, two or three buffers uh, as compared to fine care machine so when we perform the test on fine care machine so it just need one buffer and it take 15 minute this test okay so mostly the laboratory recommend uh, that the fine care machine means the test perform on the fine care machine so this is how uh, we talked to uh, the t3 test on uh, die grade machine if you missed that video lecture you can go back to my channel and watch that video lecture in that video lecture we already explained that uh, what is t3 molecule we talked uh, that uh, the purpose of t3 test uh, we talked to uh, t3 function each and everything in detail we also talked the normal range of t3 as well so uh, in this video uh, i uh, you know i explained the t3 test in a uh, die grade machine uh, uh, in Urdu language but in this video I will explain the T3 test uh, by fine care machine in English language so let's uh, first of all explain that what is T3 again so T3 the full form is triiodothyronine as the name suggests triiodo so T3 is that molecule or we can say the hormone which contains three iodine this T3 molecule is actually the T3 hormone we can say like that it is uh, actually you know uh, produced from the thyroid gland but it is not actually produced from the thyroid gland and it, it is not normally present in the uh, uh, you know bloodstream what happened normally the thyroid gland is stimulated and it secrete uh, the T4 molecule okay when the T4 molecule is produced so what happened uh, there is one iodine uh, you know we better know that in t4 it contain four iodine molecule so when one iodine molecule is removed from t4 so what will happen uh, we get t3 okay we get the t3 so it means that uh, we get the t3 from the t4 molecule when one iodine molecule is removed now what is the uh, what is the function of this t3 molecules the main function of this t3 molecule or hormone is it involved in the physiological function uh, physiological function uh, like uh, heartbeat, uh, normal uh, function of the heartbeat, uh, normal growth, uh, normal development, uh, metabolism, each and everything in the body, uh, w what type of physiological function is happening. So the T3 molecule play an important role in that physiological function. Okay, so this is a little bit about the T3 uh, molecule and their function. We, uh, you know, there are two types of the T3 one we call it bound the next we call it free uh, so bound t3 are that t3 molecule that contain with protein and uh, free t3 is that molecule which do not contain any protein and it is freely moving in uh, the body or in the bloodstream okay so this is about the free and bound t3 you know uh, the, uh, the doctor mostly recommended t3 so it means that bound t3 or total t3 okay and sometime it will recommend the doctor will recommend free t3 okay so this is a little bit about t3 now the main purpose of this t3 test is to you know um, to find the hypothyroidism condition and hyperthyroidism condition hypothyroidism means high level of uh, sorry low level of hormone hyperthyroidism means high level of uh, thyroid hormones okay so through this t3 molecule we can find out 
the uh, uh, hyperthyroidism condition and hypothyroidism condition more over to the through this t3 molecule we can find out uh, the function of uh, uh, thyroid gland as well so this is all about the t3 introduction each and everything now let's explain the requirement that when we want to perform that test on fine care what we required so we need uh, human blood in gel tube or in a red cap as you can see next uh, we required a uh, pipette or jester we required uh, tips as you can see we need fine care machine okay we need uh, uh, this is the chip or card that we should read while performing that test uh, next we need uh, this is the incubator we need incubator machine we need fine care kit so this is the fine care kit of t3 now this uh, fine care kit of t3 or we can say total t3 or bound t3 it contains the strip this is the strip or we can say cartridge or cassette remember okay it also contain one type of buffer only one buffer as you can see okay so it just contain these two things now let's see the procedure that how to perform t3 to test by fine care machine first of all we will take the blood tube as well as another tube that contains simple water and then we will you know put each tube opposite to each other to make the balance equal into the centrifuge machine then we will on the centrifuge and will set the rpm so the rpm is 1000 2000 or 3000 and the time should be one minute okay to get the serum now after the centrifugation as you can see we get the serum now this is the serum as you can see next what will we do we will take the jester and will adjust it onto the 75 microliter then we will take the clean tip as you can see we adjust it on 75 microliter and we take uh, a clean tip yellow tip then we will take 75 microliter of the serum blood serum as you can see Now this 75 microliter blood serum should be mixed with this buffer of T3 buffer as you can see so this is the T3 buffer so we should mix it okay almost for 10 seconds once it is well mixed uh, by shaking so what will we do we take another clean tip and we will you know uh, take out this strip as you can see and we'll take 75 microliter from this mixture uh, in which we mix uh, buffer as well as 75 microliter serum now we take 75 microliter and we'll put it into the strip uh, the well of the strip as you can see in the well of the strip now then what will we do we will label it with uh, this patient id so the patient id is one two three and then we will incubate it for uh, 15 minutes as you can see now after 15 minute incubation what will we do we will take this card so this is the card or chip and we will read it into the machine this card contain normal range each and everything now then we will click on the uh, this is the first of all we will click exit and then we will click on quick okay so we will click on quick because we already incubate it outside the machine for 15 minutes that's why we will click on the quick now once we click on the quick so first of all it will read the card first of all, we will click on the test first of all it will read the card then it will read this chip after 15 uh, after few seconds after few seconds it will give you the result so first of all we will give the id and then we get the result as you can see this is the result so it is the normal range 3.27 nano mole per liter so this is the normal range okay and we will click on the print and we get the print so this is the first method the next method is the standard now how will we perform the standard test on this machine we will get click on the standard test and then we will click on uh, so what will happen it will first read the card then it will read the stripper so we will click on test and after 15 minute incubation now what happened the card the strip which we insert it 
so inside the machine it will take 15 minutes okay so standard will be like that the inside the machine it will take 15 minutes okay after the 15 minute it will give you the result so we will click on the uh, we will uh, write the patient id as you can see we get the uh, no, uh, the test report so this is the result uh, the same we get uh, as we get in the quicker okay so this is how to perform the t3 test thank you so much for watching that video